21C is a hotel and a museum, and we designed the facility for art. We don't use art as decoration. We live on a corner of curiosity. It's almost Alice in Wonderland-like. We have art going 24-7. We like collecting today's art because it's very much about what's going on on the news and a way of recording what is happening today. I like to think of all art as having been contemporary at some point in time. Obviously, we never thought there'd be more than one 21C when we started. The philosophy behind it is the same, but they each will have their own character. You've just heard a few words from 21C Museum Hotel founders Steve Wilson and Laura Lee Brown. Nearly 10 years ago, we developed 21C Museum Hotel to help stem suburban sprawl in our hometown of Louisville, Kentucky through a downtown revitalization effort and historic preservation project focused around innovative and accessible contemporary art. Contemporary art is at our core, and we entered the hospitality business with a fresh perspective, unconstrained by industry norms that we candidly didn't even know. 21C was designed and inspired as a place reflecting the ways in which our founders like to travel. Local food, friendly people, comfortable beds, and unexpected encounters. We've learned a lot since we opened our first 21C nearly 10 years ago. And one thing that we've learned is that travelers want to learn. Yes, there are still many people who just want a comfortable bed free breakfast, and a lot of loyalty program points. But there are a growing number of travelers who, like our founders, want to see something they've never seen before, want an authentic local experience, and want to meet new people. Discerning travelers are no longer just concerned about thread count and the like. Today, they're also curious and engaged. Learning is the new luxury in travel. At 21C, our guests learn through art and people. Our rotating, curated exhibitions of contemporary art stimulate thought, generate conversation, and often provoke. Step inside 21C Louisville today, and you'll be immersed in hybridity, a multimedia exhibition exploring how the dreams and detritus of the industrial era have generated the promise and peril of our own digital age. In the paintings, photographs, videos, and sculptures on view, nature meets the techno culture, and the sublime becomes supernatural. Integral and integrated, the art at 21C provides opportunities to consider and connect with topical issues and currently relevant ideas while articulating 21C's mission and identity. 21C is a hybrid, a hybrid of commerce and culture, of public and private, of leisure and learning, of pleasure and pedagogy with no demarcation between art and hospitality, and lacking the traditional velvet rope of the conventional museum model, 21C's hybridity creates fertile ground for discerning new ideas and sharing new experiences. Where an elevator lobby becomes social sculpture, a doorway becomes a portal into a forest of self-reflection, a flag mirrors and welcomes the world around and within, a sculpture is a tree that bears 40 species of fruit for the restaurant to serve. Tiles underfoot are both embedded and projected, reacting to and remembering all those who pass. The piece that I've done at 21C is part of a series I've been working on for a while called Healing. And I project uh, an organic carpet on the floor. And when you walk across it, you wound it. Uh, you actually create sort of a um, a line right through it. Uh, when you turn around and watch it, the carpet heals behind you, it heals itself. But the cool thing, the interesting thing for me about these is that 
they never heal the same way twice. So your walking through it, your interaction has actually created kind of a scar that will remain there forever until somebody else walks across it. So there's this nice sort of thread in the piece um, from the moment you turn it on to the current moment of every single person who's ever walked on it. So it has kind of a bit of a history. On a micro level, we can look at our brains, right? What are our brains? Our brains are billions of neurons, okay? Each neuron, all it knows about is its neighboring neurons. It sends signals to them. Each neuron wants to kind of survive. The connections want to survive. And out of that, we get this amazing illusion of consciousness and free will and all these things. And you could argue about whether those are illusions or not, right? And that's, you know, a centuries old argument. But somehow this magical conception of self comes out of these billions of little interactions. This aesthetic of change further engenders encounters with the new through exhibitions that respond and reflect current global events and trends. The political, economic, and social conditions shaping a changing Cuba in transporting transformation. The ubiquity of our media and consumer-driven culture in pop stars. The impact of technology on physical and psychological perception in seeing now. Addressing this broad and often stimulating spectrum of issues, the exhibitions regularly transform our spaces. And for guests, visitors, and staff, foster a sense of being fully present in a place of the eternal now, where we look with anticipation toward the future. The late neuroscientist Leonard Schlein said that visionary artists serve as an early detection system for what is to come. That future is global, locally engaged and globally connected. 21C exhibits, acquires, borrows, loans, and commissions 21st century art from artists who are both widely known and emerging from all over the world. Visitors who hail from each continent, as well as our neighbors, will see the art of their time and culture while discovering unfamiliar faces and places. Weekly cultural events are presented by celebrities and citizens alike, drawing a wide demographic. Last year, over 500 programs were offered to the public at our four locations, bringing thousands of travelers and locals together. That future is collaborative. 21C works actively with other innovative organizations to create community cultural centers that contribute to the vitality of the arts in each city and beyond. This spring in Cincinnati, the first United States Museum survey show of works by Brazilian artist Albano Afonso was co-curated by 21C and the Contemporary Arts Center and presented simultaneously in our side-by-side -side locations. Docents from the Contemporary Art Center regularly give tours of 21C's exhibitions, and hotel guests gain free admission to the museum next door, strengthening a partnership that broadens the audience for contemporary art. Curiosity about what is new and what is next is nearly universal, and when peaked, practically insatiable. Sharing an experience of discovery deepens our relationships to the people, the places, and the ideas that we encounter and then remember. Learning is the new luxury because it is inherently transformative. Luxury has long been associated with what is valuable, desirable, aspirational. But those qualities are no longer defined by exclusivity, and expense. Today, we value engagement and connection. After all, that's why we're gathered here now and why we'll soon travel. 21C has commissioned several art cars, like this one in Bentonville, Arkansas, where artist Monica Mahoney transformed a 1962 Cadillac limousine into making change in homage to the year in which Walmart was founded. It's an immersive, moving art experience. And like much of the art that Alice just spoke about, while riding in this limo the other day, I started wondering, have you ever noticed how different brands of cars are very similar? For example, 
Can you tell whether this car is the 2015 Toyota Camry or the 2015 Lexus ES350? Or do any of you all remember the General Motors cars from the 1980s? Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Chevy, Buick, Cadillac, all built on the same platform. There's a common practice in the automotive industry known as platform sharing or badge engineering. Multiple brands of cars built on the same platform with just a few amenity changes. Good cars and long-standing brands, but basically the same car. This approach worked well for the automotive industry for many decades, but can the same approach continue to work today and into the future? Because today, we are living in a Tesla world. Some of you hopefully now want to ride in our Bentonville limo. And I really, really want a Google driverless car. These cars are all designed very well, but they are not luxurious in the traditional sense. Rather, they provide a new luxury. They may save you time, save the environment, or just provide a more engaging experience while you drive in a car. We must challenge ourselves to embrace what these changes in the automotive industry mean for our industry. For example, we're already seeing these dynamics unfold in the food and beverage segment. The farm to table movement has now become the norm, in part because people want to know about where their food was from and how it was prepared. Starbucks transformed coffee from a commodity into a luxury product by pairing it with a taste of culture. And craft beer and craft bourbon is skyrocketing in popularity because everyone loves to hear the story about who mixed what grains, why, and since when. Now, as for hotels, like with today's cars, luxury is just no longer about adding bells and whistles or fancy finishes. Design must be supplemented with discovery. Good design on its own can no longer be the basis of innovation or success. We're still small and we're still learning, but some of what we've learned at 21C is that experiential innovation is far more important than incremental innovations in bedding, technology, or other traditional focus areas for hotels. In 2004, we began designing 21C Museum Hotel with a blank sheet of paper and a focus on building an accessible contemporary art museum, which, as Alice described, does more than just hang artworks. From there, we surrounded our museum with a boutique hotel and restaurant. We did not start with another hotel's platform, nor did we badge engineer our plans from another hotel brand. As a result, we ended up with a truly unique experience, a hybrid, an experience that travelers of all ages and from all backgrounds find to be luxurious. But that's us. The foundations for the thriving hotel businesses of tomorrow may be built upon ideas beyond art, beyond design, and beyond new technology. Hotels built upon products, services, themes, or approaches to hospitality that have not yet been tried. So while learning is the new luxury is today, together, let's figure out what tomorrow's new luxuries will be. Thank you.